Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Danganronpa Secrets and Memories Edition. So did you think of your secrets? No. The bear knows it now. The bear knows. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's not secrets and memories. It's secret or secrets or memories. Anyway, so you don't want anyone to find out about that one thing. The, yeah, that uh, no, I, it's, that's the other thing I'm more worried oh, about. Oh, that one. That that thing is not a huge deal. So is this where you tell your followers that if they get you to like a certain subscriber threshold, right? You that, share that memory. That seems like a terrible idea. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, that seems like a no-win situation. Is this for one anybody. of those where we tell our audience do not try this at home? Don't try. All right. <laughs> anyway, secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic, which is probably why without too much of a struggle. Geez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep, but what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Uh-oh. Oh. That's just the tragedy. Monokuma this Theater. Oh, there's a gun now. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then to put into it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Yes. Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I'm trying to figure out what these scenes have to do with anything. Yeah, I know. Morning. Good. Good morning. Oh, ah. that's creepy. Whoa! <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. But what are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. <laughs> what the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates? What? Say what? <laughs> what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? I've yet to. So it seems like the. White text is him talking out loud, and the blue text is him thinking, but I noticed the last time we talked to Monokuma, there was blue text, and Monokuma was, like, responded to it. So now I'm like, can Monokuma read his thoughts, or did they just mess up? Yeah, because we've seen names messed yeah, up. Yeah, they've messed so. up names, uh, and I swear they've messed up the blue and the, the white before. Okay. But it's got me thinking. No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to go to the dining hall. Must get that pound of bacon for yourself before everybody else. Exactly. Before all the hot dogs run out. Uh, oh, disappointed. <gasps> Your buddy's still here. No! Ah, Makoto! Uh, um... Uh, are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hirohina, Sakura, and... Dirk face. Byakua. <laughs> You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already trying off to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... so, so something really did happen. Does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories. Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? 
Naturally. <laughs> Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um. There's something <laughs> wrong with him. Like, for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. She's right. Let's split up and begin looking. I don't hmm. want to be with him. The game is afoot. I think we're all on our own. Oh, okay. Alright, where do we think this happened? I feel feeling like it's only going to show us where our guys we knew are. Like people that we've already seen. I have a... I was going to say... I was gonna say library, but he's already in it, so it's not gonna be there. Yeah, all right. Let's just go wandering. What about the bathhouse? That was, I mean, it's right here, so that I'm assuming makes... no, but. The Our... pool. The pool would probably be, is probably like my, where I actually think something happened. I don't remember those there. They were there before, those shoes. No. Now, I, I think now I'm just super suspicious of everything. I know. Nobody's in here. Nope. Okay. All I have to say is it better not be Mondo or Taka because I'm enjoying their bromance now. It's kind of funny. I think it's going to be Toko. I would be fine with it being Toko. I would be fine with it being Toko also. Is that bad? Probably. Please, I'm just like, please be Toko. Because I think all the characters I like, did, none of them showed up to that meeting. So I'm like, well. Yeah, because Kyoko wasn't there. Celeste isn't there. Uh, uh, Chihiro isn't there. Hifumi. Hifumi's not there. Taka, Mondo. Do we want to knock on their doors? I don't think another dorm room is going to do it. I, yeah, I don't think it's going to be one of the dorms. I was just looking to see if there's anything outside. Oh, okay, treasure maybe? But I saw uh, Sakura's in there. I thought she was in... I thought she was in the laundry room, but she wasn't actually there. So that's that's not right. So she's in here. All right. So next floor, I guess. The restroom. That was a little fish. I don't know. I liked it. I think it was supposed to be like a painting or something. Not real fish. Oh, storage room. Oh, yeah, the warehouse. And then that's that. Uh, we'll at least have searched everything up here except for the dorms. So my question is like, where the hell is everybody else? Like, did they all find it already? I think they're all looking. But I'm just shocked that like nobody was down here. We're missing that many characters. Uh, that's true. That we haven't run into anyone else yet. Yeah. I swear that piece of paper said happy thoughts on it and all I could think of was happy thoughts, happy thoughts. <laughs> Wrong game. I know. Everyone should play that game though if you haven't played it already. If you have not played uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, please go play it. Don't find out anything about it. You go. can go watch it on our channel. You can you can go watch it. Uh, okay, not there. Well, yeah, that wouldn't make sense because that was like the class trial place. Yeah. All right. Um, it's not going to be the shop, but just I would just rather eliminate rooms. That way yeah, we're not you like missed the audio visual room, too. There we go. Oh, you walked right past it. It was behind you right there. I don't think it's going to be that. I think you're right. I think it's a swimming pool. I think it's going to be the second floor. Nope, not in here. There's some weird looking stereos. Uh, this way. What was this? Oh, that was like the entrance. It's weird, unless they've already found the body, but you'd think they'd run back to, to breakfast. Unless they're so disturbed. Unless they are so disturbed. Can't get in there. Uh, okay. 
I didn't think so, but again. All right, let's let's go up. Is there anything? Do you want to check out the gym we first? Can. I don't think it's going to be the gym. I don't think it's the gym. I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. It is like the ominous music going on. It's like, you know, death's around the corner. Something, but something where happened. Is it? Where is the death? <laughs> it's not here. Honestly, at, at this point, it's almost creepier if someone didn't die because like they've raised the tension. They've raised the tension and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm but braced for it. But they already kind of did that with what's his face in the library in the last one. They did. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like they could get away with that. Are we all just going to come out and find them all like, hey, we're hanging out in the pool? So uh, that would make sense. Oh, nobody. But why would Monokuma like make a big deal about it? He was like all to freak us out. All right, let's start in the library. All right, just crazy pants. I don't remember. Hey, there's nothing worthwhile over there. I've already checked so that there can be no mistake. All right. Where he's hiding his secret arsenal. Right. All right. Uh, that's a classroom. <laughs> Reality isn't everything. <gasps> to the pool, right? Is that our last spot? We haven't checked. Uh, I feel like. Yeah, we haven't. There's nothing else. So, we may not have gone into this classroom either, but, but I don't think it's there. I don't think it's there. I think let's go to the pool. That was to me the most obvious spot. Well, because he talked about the machine gun. Remember that? Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? There we go. Rule breaker. For this investigation, I to the doors. Oh. Please look around to your heart's content. So does that mean we can go in the girls? I investigation. It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Bakua. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on. In the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> It seems somebody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Hmm. Why can't it be any of the characters that I don't care about? I know. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Can I also point out that I was kind of hoping it was one of the guys this time, since we had... We've already killed off three of the girls yeah. now. Vacuum, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Where's everybody else? Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for an everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling too. Reeling too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head, 
Hey, I heard screaming. Does something... Jihiro. <laughs> Why is the noise so happy? <gasps> A body has been discovered. Oh, has it now? After I think the bear did it. In amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? Oh, that's right. You're unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Dead, yes. D -d 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 Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all had passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. I'm a Celeste. All right. The word blood lust is written on the wall in blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, the thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of the crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. What nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country? The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Perhaps. It's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Dealing with a smart one. Ugh! Please. What is it now? Togo! He was pointing towards the entrance to the girls' locker room. Uh. Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No. Why? 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> Got on. <laughs> oh, she fainted. That did not sound good. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Did she die of a heart attack to resolve our even number issue? <laughs> Wait, no, we don't have an even number issue anymore. No. No, oh, that's right. I remember. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. 
This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Ah, oh, so she didn't faint on purpose. It doesn't count. Gotcha. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? Wait. <laughs> She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back and a top inning and a bottom and a sea of truth and a web of lies. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. Does she have like a concussion? Th that's a good thing, right? <laughs> see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Um, Taka, could you help me? <laughs> <laughs> huh, she totally ignored me. Very well, you can take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Uh, hold on a second, rushing to an investigation. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat myself. There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course. Rain is rain. And I don't... But don't take it as a bad thing. In fact, it's just a fact of life. Because... Yoo that's how graduation works. Then... It's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed? A fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pry to mine if you want. Oh, God. I'll let you pray to mine if you want. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. I was just going to say that. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's the file. I know how much you must have been looking forward to it. See ya later. So please, do your tippy-top best on this investigation. No way. Do we really gotta do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends, having to suspect all our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. I hate it too. Uh, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. You are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. Th that's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? What? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine then, go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead, you're a waste of space. D damn you! A dead body is an object. Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Bayakua said. K Kyoko. Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakua is right about... Right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. 
In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations oh, fantastic. menu. fantastic. So In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking. But if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You, son of a bitch. you need to shut the fuck up. Well, for now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at a room. Nice. I'm going to get dropped off. There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Toad sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. And we have no other choice but to start our investigation in the next episode. Yep. All right. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please feel free to click the like button and we'll see you next time.